briefly review for us your qualifications, including your education and work experience, that you think is relevant for our consideration of you as a county administrator. In your response, please address your budgeting experience, supervisory experience, and labor relations, including negotiations. Well, obviously, uh, in my role as interim county administrator, I've had some exposure to uh, the, the various uh, responsibilities of the position. So I've had a couple of months uh, exposure to all the different uh, items that you list there. But <clears throat> I would um, draw more attention to my time in human services, where um, I spent 22 years within that department, all in a supervisory or a leadership role. Um, I uh, was uh, 10, 12 years as the uh, director of the department and uh, so had a lot of responsibility overseeing both a, a very large budget as well as a large staff, um, largest in the county in both cases. Uh, the budget in human services uh, was about 28 million uh, last year and so um, my role was not all, only to oversee uh, that budget and the various departments within human services, but um, I played uh, an active role in developing that budget based on my prior experience with the department where initially I was hired as the accounting supervisor in that department and had uh, budget development responsibilities where I uh, provided information to the director at that time. And so I've had uh, both primary and secondary responsibility in terms of building that budget uh, for the whole time I was with the Human Services Department. Um, I believe I've been a, a strong and capable leader within the human service system and the county system. And so that experience um, has some elements to it that are more um, subtle and uh, maybe less obvious to, to people, but um, I certainly have dealt with a lot of different labor issues, a lot of different issues in terms of managing budget um, challenges or other challenges within uh, the various positions I've held. <clears throat> you, you complete the, this I guess starts out hypothetical, you complete the county's budget and there is a large deficit how would you go about reducing this deficit and establishing, establishing funding priorities? And what do you see as the department head's role in the budgeting process in reducing deficits? Well, um, this is a question that really um, strikes home to me since it seems like I've been cutting budgets since 2003 uh, within the Human Service Department. And so um, we have uh, had to wrestle there with um, budget reductions uh, totaling a million dollars or more at a time. And so very significant reductions have had to be been made over time. The way we approached it was to um, take a look at all of our various services and then assigning through a different um, uh, processes a priority to those services. So we tried to define the core services we provide in those services that then support that core function. Um, our goal with that was to preserve those core county human service functions so that those were protected from uh, budget reductions or at least able to be maintained going forward. And so when we started out, we did things on basically a five point scale where um, uh, those rated number one were our core services out to five, which would be uh, services that support that core. And we used that as a guide then to making reductions as they became apparent so that uh, we tried to, again, preserve those core services and reduce um, kind of from the outside of the concentric circles, if you could uh, envision that, so that as we made our reductions, um, we had um, preserved those core services and hopefully impacted people um, on a smaller scale. Give an example of a time when you believe your ethics were challenged. Hmm. Um, Um, I think to a certain degree um, that can happen um, throughout the course of uh, a day or a year even. Um, um, in terms of when an, uh, an example existed, 
um, that's a little more difficult to even remember. Um, I can tell you I consider myself um, uh, a person that cares about ethics and uh, works very hard to maintain um, both a personal uh, integrity and professional ethics. Um, you know, I suppose the, the best example I can give is um, we've maintained in the county system a prohibition against gifts from vendors, um, even small gifts of uh, 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 buying us lunch or something like that. And so I have just maintained um, a very strong status that we, whether it be myself or anyone in our agency, um, is not allowed to do that. And we've actually returned gifts to vendors and communicated to them very clearly that that is not permissible in the, our system. And so um, that's, a, I guess, a prime example of a case where um, I've experienced that. Good. Thank you. Explain what diversity means to you and describe why you, describe why is it an important element of the county administration. Well, diversity means to me um, that um, it, it's a broad statement in terms of either thought processes, um, 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 personal commitments, um, philosophies, um, obviously um, uh, um, culture and race and those sorts of things get pulled into a diversity um, definition. But to me, ultimately, our role is to um, respond to needs regardless of um, any of those issues and so we have to have a fair and um, appropriate delivery of our services that recognizes that our community is changing but the rules that we need to apply apply to all and so if there are um, ways that we need to again adjust our services to better serve um, populations of that uh, um, bring that diversity element into it, um, you know, we need to be able to respond as a system to that. Um, so I guess, you know, in terms of why is that an important element of county administration, we know that our community is changing and we have to be responsive to the needs in our community and that means all different uh, people in our community and um, we need to understand um, how to communicate our message in a way that is fully understood and um, achieved by anyone needing our services. What motivated you to apply for the county commissioner position and why should we appoint you to the position? Well, again, I, I uh, have a, a, a passion for quality services. And so I, I saw this role as an opportunity to um, take that passion and put it to work in a broader sense in terms of all the different uh, departments and services that the county um, provides. Um, you know, I, I believe my skill set matches very well with this role, and so that also was part of my motivation. I feel like. Um, uh, again, my um, fiscal experience, my HR experience, my technology experience, all are pieces of um, what is needed in the county administrator role to make sure uh, or to help the county system um, provide the services and um, stay uh, essential and efficient going forward. And so when I looked at uh, this role and uh, what what I believe it takes to uh, be the county administrator. Again, I felt my uh, skill set matched pretty well with what is needed, and uh, I want to continue, again, those uh, great things that uh, we've been doing over the years, and I see this as an opportunity to um, step forward and say, um, let's continue those things along into the future. Bob, what do you see as some of the some of the priorities for Blue Earth County as it relates to technology, economic development, budget, and environment. And we understand you've touched on some of these already. So. Uh, the technology piece is actually an area of um, um, interest on my part. Um, I've worked on a number of different systems issues, um, not only technology systems, but systems as a whole. And so that's an area where 
um, I would like to see um, the county remain um, current in our technology. Again, I think with the uh, fiscal pressures that exist on the county, it's important to um, look at technology as a way to um, maintain our service response uh, going forward. And so, uh, obviously, with my example of the Compass pro Project, that was uh, a good example of where we tried to utilize technology in a way to maintain services. <clears throat> uh, economic development, um, uh, I think that's an area where um, quite frankly, I have some, um, some learning to do still, but uh, the budget uh, piece, obviously, uh, with the, the reductions that are headed our way, we are going to have to make continued reductions or adjustments in our budget so that um, we balance the budget without increasing taxes to the point where the community feels um, uncomfortable with that. And so, um, you know, that, that will, I think, be an ongoing challenge. I don't think it's going to end after this next legislative session or our next budget cycle. I suspect that we will be um, struggling with making sure that we're able to provide all of our priority services within the available resources we have to work with. The environment is a, a particular interest of mine. Um, on a personal level and so certainly support the work that's being done out of the environmental services area to um, su um, maintain water quality and um, uh, protect our environment in a way that's helpful for everyone in our county to not only enjoy our natural resources but ensure um, safe safety and health going forward. Thank you.